y'all already know this is a kit. It's a dready <clears throat> back with another mukbang today. Yeah, I'm here with the mukbang. I know the last couple videos. Let me know if y'all like it, okay? First of all, so much I know right off the top. I might be a little bit tipsy, okay? Just a little bit, a little smidgey, all right? So let me tell you what I got. So I can see. Let me hold it correctly. I don't want this to drop. But I got a burrito. I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle that. It's that splat on there. It's good cheese Ooh. on this burrito. I ain't gonna put too much because I'm not a huge fan of cheese. But I see that. Can we do a thumbnail? One time for the one time. I think it's copacetic because at this point I'm just ready to eat. Okay, I'm just gonna say my grace. Amen. All right, so today I have Glorious for y'all. Have y'all ever been to Glorious? I don't know. I don't know where like the locations are here, but or anywhere maybe where y'all might be, but I've been to Glorious a few times. It's basically a um I think it's Salvadorian cuisine. So yeah, they got like pupusas there and different things. I normally sit typically when I go to Mexican restaurants or Spanish restaurants, I always get the same things. Or I always get like enchiladas. That's my go to. Or like some, some nachos or fajitas. For today, I'm going to try to decide to go a different route and get a burrito. No, it's supposed to be real. It's supposed to come with rice and beans, but I tell. And also, um, there's, on this burrito, there's I think there's beef, cheese or something, and maybe and there's rice in here now. Um, and it's supposed to come with guacamole, so but it didn't. This is just like other appetizers that we ordered, and so I got some um guac right here, and I got some uh, chili con queso, which is also what they gave me when I just poured it on top of my burrito. It's supposed to come with um, guacamole and stuff, but it doesn't matter because we got guacamole on top anyway. But it's supposed to come with rice and beans, but there's also rice on a burrito, which I don't like rice on my burrito. So I, I asked them, the person who took my order, which was my brother, to say no rice on the burrito. But I think he just said no rice, or maybe they just misunderstood it was a miscommunication and they didn't get me the rice. But that's fine because there's rice in a burrito, even though I really do not like rice in my burrito. Because typically when places like this put rice in the burritos, they tend to put like more rice and meat. But we'll see how it's looking on the inside. I'm going to cut it open and see. But yeah, this is the burrito inside. Let me see if I can show y'all. This is what it looks like inside. Not really much to it. But it's doable. And I'm going. I'm just going to eat this with a fork and knife. I got some pico over here on the side. Some salsa. And then I got the guac over here. I'm going to just eat it like that. I don't know why, but like this place, they don't believe in giving you extra salsa. Like they literally gave us for our whole order one thing of salsa. Like, how much salsa do y'all eat with y'all food? Because I know y'all eat a lot. So, why y'all playing? So, it's just some pico that I got from Walmart. And I'm going to put some wok on there as well. Mm, yeah. Because let me just eat a little bit and then I will start to speak. Mm -hmm. It's basically like an enchilada, to be honest. Cutting it like this. Mm. How many people love Mexican food or like Mexican food? What's your favorite food? I think I can literally eat tacos like every day. Some sort of taco and sandwiches. I love a good sandwich. Mm. Not like your ordinary typical sandwich with just meat and cheese. I love a big full sandwich like roast beef, turkey, ham, pepperoni, lettuce, tomato, red onion, mushroom, like all that. Black olive oil, vinegar, mayonnaise, 
red onions, like. Mm. Come on. <clears throat> this brill doesn't have much on it. I promise you I read more that's supposed to come on here, but whatever. I still got all the stuff on the side, so it's fine. And I can do without the sour cream. Um, I'm gonna put some more pico though. Low key, I'm already full. Like, I know. I think that's why I don't like to drink sometimes. Cause like when I drink, I just feel like I get full. I have to drink on an empty stomach, 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 <laughs> and then I mean, right on. Yesterday was some chips, and I had my dogs earlier, but like it was just some nuggets. I mean, I had like one of them slushies that they be having, which are overpriced. At first, it used to be a dollar. Now they dollar thirty nine. I'm just like, y'all try it. It's like everybody's going up on prices, right? A lot of places, I think, because of this whole epidemic, which I, I guess I understand a little bit. Like a lot of people are going up on their prices, especially like meat and stuff like that. Ground beef, steak, sirloin, and stuff like that. And then like a lot of stuff is still out of stock. Like Lysol is still out of stock. There's, I mean, there's like certain things, but like the wipes are hard to come by. The hand sanitizer is hard to come by. The hand soap and sanitizer is hard to come by. Um, paper towel and tissue, they've gotten better with, you know, having on shelves. But everything else is just, like, it's really hard to come by. And, like, even meat at one point, like, in our store, the meat was really scarce and hard to, like, stay on the shelves. Like, especially ground beef and chicken. Because those, like, those are the two cheapest things you can, like, get. So, if y'all can see what a lot of people are buying those. As soon as they got on the shelf. So, <clears throat> you have to be here early in the morning. And by the time you get there, it's gone. So, mm. but luckily, you know, I work at a store, so I kind of have, you know, more accessibility to it than people who <laughs> don't work at a store. But, I got some questions that I got a while back. I just not get Sometimes, y'all, I don't. Like, I know I'm bad at it and I should get better, but, like, I don't be checking my comments like that. And also, it's like sometimes um, the comments aren't don't show. Even when I go to, like, the spam, I still don't show. And I'm just like, what the heck? But, um,. There are some questions that I had came across, um, and I keep putting it off. Not putting it off. I keep forgetting, honestly. But I'm going to answer them now. And these questions came from, let's see. These questions came from Georgia underscore, underscore. I'm sorry, I'm a little bit. Excuse me. Georgia underscore score grown underscore peach. Shout out to you for asking these questions. Um, the first one is talk about your dating life. <laughs> That's really easy and simple. I don't have one to, you know, completely work on myself. I need to make sure I'm straight, I'm good before I even go after anybody. Like, you know, like, I just, when I was growing up and stuff and, you know, trying to figure out my life, still am trying to figure it out. I was just, like, I would always have to be in a relationship. Um, like right even after right after I got out of a relationship it seemed like I was just jump right back in this one and to be honest like I mean there's nothing wrong with that but at the same time I just feel like that's not healthy because you don't get a chance to recover you don't get a chance to like you know love yourself and see you know not saying that there's anything wrong with you but like you don't get to just you know Make sure you good first, right? That should always be your priority. 
in life. It was anything. You should always make sure you good first before you're going on with anything in life. You know? Even when you have children and you, you know, you married, make sure yourself is good first before you deal with all this stuff. Because if you're not good and you try to deal with different problems, it's not going to work. So right now, my dating life is just, it's pretty much non-existent, to be honest. I'm not really looking for nothing. I mean, if something comes across, it's cool, you know. If I come across somebody and we, you know, we might be friends or whatever the case. And if something, you know, pop off from that, then it's meant to be. But I'm not actively looking for anybody. Talk about your experience on your very first job. Okay. On my very first job. The very first job I ever had, technically, I was, is like with my dad. Because my dad, um, he does it every once in a while. He has a, a catering company, Noir Catering. catering. And, like, I don't really think that he's, like, you know, I mean, he still does do stuff for people every once in a while, you know. He's part of the, uh, actually, the Omega Psi Phi fraternity, so, you know, they have picnics and stuff like that. And, you know, he'll cook for them or, you know, he'll cook for a couple buddies here and there, or maybe, you know, like a church or anything, you know, like that, you know. But, like, he's not actively, you know, catering, like, like that, like, like, he don't got no website or nothing like that, which he probably should do that, but, you know. I don't know. But anyway, I was like double and down with that. Like, if he had like a little gig or whatever, you know, maybe my sisters would dress up, put out a little white collar shirt on, you know, a little skirt or slacks or whatever, black. And we would serve the food or take, you know, bring them their drinks or whatever the case, ask if, you know, they needed anything else or pass out silverware and napkins and stuff like that. But my first official, official job, like, for a company like a you know it was target and um it was okay i only worked there for like six months and i end up um i think i was actually going to transfer because so i was going to save my dad for one summer and i was going to transfer out there but something ended up falling through or whatever and i didn't even i just didn't go back <laughs> but i mean it was okay I met a, cool, a couple of cool people there. I mean, we don't, I mean, I still follow them on Facebook and stuff. Like, honestly, just one person. But um, other than that, the experience was, it was okay. I was a cashier. Um, so, yeah, I scan people, of course. I was, like, one of the best. I'm the best at everything I do. Let me just put it like that. You know, I'm a Leo. So, that's, it. that's pretty self-explanatory. But, like, yeah, I'm good at what I do whatever it may be <clears throat> excuse me but you know things just didn't happen <laughs> didn't i don't know the company honestly a lot of people a lot of companies you know try to say teamwork is you know that's their their model and stuff but honestly at the end of the day it's really not like they, it's just all talk talk about where you see yourself in five years i don't even know with the way this world's going, who knows where any of us are going to be in five years, to be honest. I hope I'm still, you know, alive and <clears throat> healthy and surrounded by wonderful people and great family and people that, you know, respect me and I respect them. I hope that, I just hope my family is doing great. I hope that I can be, you know, better in a better place than I am now. Like, um, I don't know. I really don't know. Because, like, everybody wants to be successful. Everybody wants, you know, especially on this, this YouTube platform, everybody want to do great, you know, good numbers and, you know, want to be seen and want to be, you know. How many times have I, have I said, you know, in the video? But we all want to, you know, be successful. But at the same time, I'm an introvert. And I just be thinking about sometimes, like, do I really want to be in the public eye? Do I really, like... I just want to meet anybody in public, like, how is that going to be, you know? I mean, that could actually help me maybe to be, you know, more outspoken and stuff like that. Like, don't get me wrong, when I get to meet somebody, when you get to know me, you, I'm cool, like, you know, I'm going to come out my shell, but I'm shy, I'm, a, I'm I'm laid back, you know, I'm just chill. I mean, it could be a good thing, you know, sometimes you need new stuff in your life, but like, I don't know.
I hope that I could be successful in this. Maybe I have five years from now, I'll be in some kind of business for myself. I don't know what it would be, uh, whether it be me, you know, selling. Because, like, I just always, I don't know, I want to sell. I like to cook sometimes, sometimes. <laughs> and I really, I like my tuna fish, even though a lot of people make tuna and different chicken salads and stuff like that. But I feel like my tuna fish is good. And maybe I want to put that out and, you know, sell it or maybe i'll be making merch now or be big on here and who knows what i would do i don't know so in five years i just hope i'm successful i hope i'm happy and i hope everybody around me happy my family and you know friends and stuff like that and maybe i'll be more i i, I will grow to be more out of my shell i don't know